My name is Wayne from Clinton, and my story starts by suggesting that our healthcare system is the most expensive in the world, yet does not provide world-class care. Just by moving to a single-payer system, we could eliminate the pain and suffering of millions of people like me and cut 340 billion of our collective healthcare expenditures. I was insured but could not access care because of deductibles and co-pays from about 1994 to 2009. During that period of time, I suffered from, for, from progressively worse hip pain, but could not afford medical care. I self-medicated for pain by excessive use of aspirin and a growing abuse of alcohol, which I finally beat in 2003. By 2009, I could not walk without an exaggerated limp and had developed a lipoma on the back of my neck about the size of a 12-inch softball. I felt and looked like the hunchback of Notre Dame. In January of 2009, I fell on black ice near the entrance of our church office, largely due to my lack of mobility. I broke the fibula near my left ankle and suffered a severe tear to my left shoulder rotator cuff. In January, I had surgery to repair the broken bone. In March, surgery to repair my rotator cuff. In July, hip replacement surgery. And in my spare time, surgery to remove the lipoma. The church carried insurance that covered my deductible and they also had a held a fundraiser that provided funds to meet other needs. I was insured through Wisconsin's health insurance risk pool. So because I could not afford care that I needed, it, needed when I needed it, they ended up paying for three surgeries instead of one. They paid for thousands of dollars of unnecessary care, which drives up costs for every American. After my rotator cuff surgery, the doctor wrote me an order for home health care. I had a boot on my left left uh, I had a on my left ankle, a sling on my left shoulder, and I waited for two days to be evaluated. I called the case manager and asked why. The caseworker said they didn't feel I needed it, so the request was denied. I said, I'm here holding the doctor's order saying that I need home health care. You've never seen me, nor do you know the context of my situation. Needless to say, she approved the eval. The next morning, the home health evaluator rang my doorbell. I had to get up out of the recliner with my left arm out of commission, my left ankle in a boot, and try to maneuver to answer the door. As I was making my way to the door, I shouted for the person to come in. I think the evaluator's jaw dropped when she saw me just as she opened the door. She said, I don't even need to come in. You need home health care. Finally, healthcare is a human right, and uh, this crisis in America would be quickly solved if elected national and state politicians would have affordable access to healthcare no greater than the rest, uh, than the least of whom they serve. Um, affordable healthcare, not affordable insurance. Everybody in, nobody out.